Welcome back, everyone, to Don't Starve. My name is Bear Taffy. I talked like the Count from Sesame Street for some reason, and now I've completely lost that sense of character. But welcome back, nonetheless. Thanks for coming, everyone. Appreciate your time with me as we're Don't Starving for days. And day 40, which is a new milestone, of course. It's fantastic for me. I should probably put away this torch that I've been using to get through this, uh... Un oh, God, uncharted territory. Man, I freak myself out every time I hit the pop filter like that. It's a scary thing. We're gonna try to wander around a little bit. I had the intention uh, at the end of last episode of uh, going back to the campsite and trying to put together a few of these cool new gizmos that I've gotten. I've got, I believe in my current inventory, I have a box thing, a ring thing, and a crank thing. So if I try to uh, fit all those pieces together, I suspect I might be able to, uh, to make something fancy. So I'm gonna go try that out. I'm actually gonna whip up a garland for myself as well real quick to walk. Oh god, hang on a second. I've got some more evil flowers here. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pick these up as well. I could certainly use some more nightmare fuel. So each of these reduces my sanity by five, and that also dims the lights of the area. That is horrifying. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I should make a garland real fast. Oh, the dark rabbits that could produce nightmare fuel as well. Alright, let's put this on for a little while. See if I can get my sanity back up. My goodness. It's it's crazy to see like the immediate effects of severely reduced sanity just happen in front of your eyes. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> I like it though. Garland is hopefully slowly improving this uh oh hey, it's the big king! Big King! Hello there, buddy! He's smelly! Oh my god, look at all those spiders! Look at all those spiders! Holy shit! Oh my god, that's insane! Look at this fortress they've built up! This is amazing! Oh man, the spiders have taken over the Northwest Territory. That's it. That, oh, jeez. Wow. More evil flowers. More farms! Hello there, and a metal potato thing. Holy crap, I'm very glad I went exploring around here. Look, a shovel as well. I could certainly use that. Let's go ahead and just eat this petal real fast. Because why not? I'm going to eat up these carrots too. I would love to be able to utilize these farms. Oh, but my sanity is rapidly dropping. Oh my god, this is horrifying. I don't even know what to do around here. Let's see. I'm going to keep wandering around this way. I've got plenty of food. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and eat up a meatball real fast. I don't have flint, so unfortunately I can't take advantage of these boulders around here. But I know where I need to go in case I want to find some more. And that was indeed the case very recently. So I uh, might have to look into doing that. Hey, it's a bird guy. What's up, buddy? Tall bird pal. Hey, look, there we go. There's some flint. I'm going to take his egg as well. Uh, let's see. I should probably just eat these carrots raw. Or maybe uh, replace the seeds. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take these out of my inventory. Oh, hey, he does not like me being here. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Look, I'm going. I'm going, pal. You don't need me around. Actually, you know what? I'm going to fight you. I'm totally going to fight you. Yeah, you cannot deal with me, my friend. I am well prepared for this interaction. Goodbye. Oh god, that is uh, that is a painful bird. Let's see if I can do this. Alright, so he does like about 5 damage per hit, which really isn't that bad actually. Alright, he's down. Nice, I got the meat and the eggs. Ooh, this is good. Some flint as well. I, I wish I had more room inside of Chester to get some of this cool stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and put the garland back on to keep my uh, sanity high. What can I put away here? I've got a couple of things I'd definitely like to have. I'm going to pick up some flint. I'm going to make a pickaxe at the moment. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that right now. There's that for my inventory space. I can put the uh, I can put the carrots in my mouth. I wanted to do that. Fortunately, I can't use magic to make these uh, nightmare fuels out of the dark petals just yet. What kind of space do you have, buddy? Hold on a sec. Oh, hey, you've got plenty of room. All right, so let's put these things inside of you for now. We go like that, that, and we have gold nugget inventory space as well. I've got this egg that I can take. Thank you very much. We go bam and bam. Let's meet out of this. All right, let's start uh, hacking away at the gold rocks and uh, hopefully come back to the campsite with plenty of resources to utilize. Uh, I don't think I really need flint, but I might as well carry it around with me too. So let's put that inside. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put the dark petals inside of your last remaining slot. Oh, you have one more slot in your inventory. Nice. We could probably take the seeds as a result of that as well. Good stuff. Well, I did not plan on killing a bird on my trek out here, but that certainly yielded me a few results, and I'm happy with that. Let's put seeds in, uh, you know what, I'm going to put the twigs maybe? No, I'm going to put the rock, the hammer, the hammer inside of Chester's mouth. Good stuff. Day 40 has certainly yielded some results for us, man. My sanity is depleting again as a result of the night having fallen. 
So I might want to be aware of the fact that staying out here during nighttime may be the worst idea I could have possibly concocted. There's a lot of gold over here, though, so this is probably something I want to get, get used to staying around. I think I want to go over to the Pig King, see if I can, can uh, give him some of my useless little gadgets, and in return I will hopefully gather some more gold, bring that back to the campsite, and be a happy little bear cub. Alright, there goes my pickaxe, unfortunately. I can make another one by virtue of the flint I've just picked up around here. I don't need to make a shovel. I don't know why I clicked that on accident. Not a big deal. Here we go. Very nice. More gold for me and some stones as well. Bam, bam, bam. Still got plenty of time in the evening, so I should probably hack up uh, at least one more little bit of uh, gold rock. We're going to pick up that last little rock there. Don't want the niter, of course, because that's a completely useless item. All right. One last gold stone. And the sounds being produced from the surroundings are really starting to get to me. This is... This is a nightmare, but we're going to be okay. We're going to be just fine. We're going to get out of here now. I'm going to try to make my way back to camp with all of these wonderful little gadgets. I'm actually going to go ahead and hack up one more. I think I'll be okay. I've got one torch, and I've got the resources to make another, so I think we'll be just fine making our way back to campsite A. Uh, I'm not hungry at the moment, so don't need to worry about that. Got plenty of flint. I'm going to put the walking stick back. Oh, my God, there's another one. All right. Might as well use up the pickaxe while we're out here. Hopefully I can uh, do this before night falls. Okay. There we go. Time for night time. Let's do this thing. I'm going to make another torch to have in the inventory just in case. So as soon as that percentage runs dry, I will be ready. I am going to run right into some water here. I just realized I am probably screwing myself over. This is a very, very bad situation. You know what? I might just need to, uh, I might need to make a temporary campsite here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's build a campfire out here in the wilderness. Looks good to me. We're going to fuel that with some logs. Make a big old campfire. No. No, no, you don't. Where are you? Get the hell out. Goodbye. Goodbye. Stomp on them. Get out of this place. You heathens. You fire-stealing nightmares. There they go. All right. No, you knock it off, you bastard. Go back from whence you came. There we go. All right, put the pickaxe back on. Let's get some utility out of this, man. Oh, my God. This is starting to really get on me. I am worried. But we're getting some gold nuggets out of it. Hey, we made it through the night. Wow, that was pretty quick. I guess I was just chasing off the uh, the dangers for the majority of it. Oh, man. Look at how much the, at uh, the atmosphere of the world has dimmed. This is truly frightening. I need to get some flowers, man. I need to make myself feel better. Oh, uh, wearing flowers on my head usually does the trick, but right now I think I could use uh, quite a bit more of a pick-me-up. Making nightmare fuel probably isn't going to help out that much either. I should probably sleep in my tent. That's probably a good idea. So we'll head back to campsite A right now. Hopefully not have to deal with... Uh, too much nonsense. There's another totally normal tree I could chop down. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. I don't think it does any damage to me, so let's chop down this guy. Uh, yeah, he usually doesn't do anything, right? I think we're going to be okay. We're just going to rapidly chop him down. Not have to deal with any kind of problems. There he goes. Living logs would be wonderful. Uh, there's two. And I think that was all we got out of him. All right, good stuff. That'll do just fine. Let's head back. Oh, I just realized I'm going the wrong way. Hang on a moment. Let's go like this. There we go. All's well. Okay. That's pretty much what I wanted out of this. Now I know where the Pig King is, so I could bring a lot of my useless garbage to him that I suspect isn't really useful any anyway. Uh, you know, I could take this. I could chop down an obelisk. I have a hammer. But I think I've got to go put away a lot of these things that I've just acquired. So let's go ahead... Put the, uh, put the foodstuffs back in the campsite. Try to restore my sanity by virtue of sleeping through the night. And uh, I think we'll be okay after that. I think everything will be just fine. We're going to use the uh, nightmare fuel we've gathered and the living logs as well to make a shadow manipulator, hopefully. And that'll be fantastic. I think, we're, uh, I think things are looking up here. We've got a lot of good stuff happening as a result of that trek out into the great unknown. And, man, that is exciting. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like I finally have a decent grasp on things, man. I, I start I start thinking to myself, man, I wonder what else we could do. I wonder how else we could push our limits. And that's 
That's fun. I like that. We got some dried jerky here as well. Okay, so. Made it back. Got a bunch of berries to harvest as well. Might as well start doing that right now. Trapped a rabbit. So we're obviously going to be sleeping through the night of day 41. Uh, for now, it's just going to be a matter of what I want to do with all this stuff I've gathered. I should probably just go ahead and make some, uh, some fruity goodies. So we're going to put in uh, three berries and a carrot here. Uh, so let's go ahead and go bam and cook that up. I'm going to plant the seeds inside of the farm. I'm going to use some of the rot from Chester to fertilize that. Good stuff. All right, we got the nightmare fuel from Chester as well, so let's take that, put that in my inventory, and make up some nightmare fuel, shall we? Make sure that's an option for me somewhere. Somewhere I can do that. I'm not really sure where it was, actually. Maybe it's in refine, I imagine so. There we are. All right, Night my nightmare fuel is available. Let's do it. Oh, good stuff. That is uh, that is fantastic. I'm going to cook up some carrots. Yeah, I'm just going to eat them. Just going to eat them, because why not? All right, more refinement, more nightmare fuel. Fantastic. Wonderful. Awesome. Good stuff. Okay. Made some ratatouille out of that. We're going to go ahead and eat that up as well. Uh, we can make one more big thing. Let's do uh, three berries and a bit of meat. Looks good to me. All right. Cooking that up. Hopefully be able to uh, get some more inventory space as a, as a result of cooking and creating. And I've got these living logs in this chest somewhere. There we go. We're going to stack those together. Hello, turkey friend. I'm just going to leave you be. I don't really care too much about you right now. All right, shadow manipulator. What is required? I need a purple gem and two more nightmare fuel. Oh, hey, we trapped a bird as well. Wonderful. Thank you much. Uh, I need to clear out some more space. Oh, my God. All right, I'm just going to put these down right here. Let those be. Uh, murder a red bird. Get a crimson feather. Okay. That's fine, I suppose. No room in here. I wonder how much of this stuff I can actually... Oh, that's right. Hang on a second. Well, you want to try some stuff. First, I'm going to take these meatballs. I'm actually going to put a lot of this food inside of the chest here, or inside of the uh, ice box, rather. So let's go bam, 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 and then one more meat for another set of meatballs there. I've got inventory space. Let's see what I can take out. I've got the box thing that I want to combine with the ring thing and the crank thing. So we're going to take this out. Don't know if I have the uh, ring thing, actually. So let's see. Uh, all right, so that doesn't do much. I guess I'm going to find somewhere to utilize those resources. Uh, there's another bit of meatballs. Let's go ahead and store those away for a rainy day. I've got a tall bird egg I could use to uh, cook up some stuff. So let's go ahead and combine those with some berries. That sounds like a decent enough idea. Go bam, bam, bam. Got gold I can use as well. Let's see here. Oh, and some grass and a rabbit. Nice. Ooh, a dark rabbit. That means I get some nightmare fuel. Nice. Oh, and monster meat. Oh, that's bad. That stinks. Well, might as well take this, eat it up. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. Yeah, that's fine. All right, going to dry out the monster meat. I've got to become sane again, which means I'm going to be sleeping through this night, of course. I think I just made some nasty crap. Uh, fistful of jam. Oh, okay, that's pretty good, actually. Not a bad concoction. This honey has been in here forever, man. Honey shouldn't go bad. Honey doesn't go bad in real life. That's crazy. I am appalled by uh, Don't Starve's interpretation of honey. Let's see. Can I just, like, put this down somewhere? I don't really know what I'm going to do with that. Uh, I've got an axe in here that I'm not really using for anything. I've got some marble as well. All right, so I've got crank thing. I've got box thing. I've got ring thing. Yeah, so I've got all three of those. I've got a bunch of stuff I could probably give it to the pig king right now. Time for food. Oh, don't eat those, buddy. Oh, that's a bad plan. You gave me some manure, though. Okay. I guess I'll take it. Uh... Shoot. Oh, man, I really do need to sleep. Okay, so, uh, you know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and just put all these in the fireplace. Not that big of a deal. I can chop down trees pretty easily. Uh, what do I want to make, though? I do want to make the Shadow Manipulator, and to do that, I need a purple gem. And to, do, to get a purple gem, I think I'm going to go have to dig up some tombstones. I think I've got two more Nightmare Fuel somewhere as well. Let's see. Uh, oh, I've got another rabbit I could kill. Where's the other Nightmare Fuel I had? I swear I had some more. Where could that have possibly gone? Nightmare fuel? Are you inside a Chester, maybe? No, you're not. So I'm gonna have to go get more of that stuff. I gotta put this metal potato thing away as well. Huh. Well, let's put this manure inside of you and store away the living logs. I should probably try to organize my chests better. This is uh, it's looking like I've got a lot of uh, he whispers beautiful lies to me. Jeez, <laughs> so much creepiness. All right, time to sleep. We're gonna restore that sanity. Become very hungry, but my sanity has 
crawled up. Looks good. All right, I guess you're gonna eat those, buddy. That's fine. I think you're gonna become something truly evil as a result, but <laughs> suppose we'll find out. All right, nice and full, toasty warm, sanity's back. Let's go dig up some grave sites. That seems like a decent idea to me. All right, so we got more nightmare fuel. Uh, caught that rabbit, of course. Didn't really produce much good. I'm gonna cook up some more uh, fistfuls of jam or something like that. I don't think I have any meat to utilize, so let's just go ahead and cook those up like so. Looks good. Take some more manure, put that inside of Chester. Alrighty, there we are. Wait for it. Wait for it! There it is, another fistful of jam. Good stuff. Alright, I'm gonna take another set of meatballs here. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring both of them with me. I think it'll be okay. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go back to that, uh, other site. And let's see if we can actually, you know what? This seems like a decent idea. I might want to try to track down the elephant. The, uh, the ethylont. The heffalump. And Woozle. That's a Winnie the Pooh reference. That's that's just out of left field, ma'am, and I'm okay with it. Are you? I hope so. Where are we going to go find some goodies? There is a grave. Let's go ahead and dig that up. Bam. Or another red gem. I'll take it. So we need to find some blue gems so we can hopefully make the uh, the purple one because we love primary colors here in the... Uh, here in the Bear Taffy Don't Starve series. Another kazoo. We got ourselves a... Uh, Desiccated tentacle. Interesting. What else can we find up here? Where was the pig king? He's very close by, actually. If we go over this way, we'll probably be able to find him and give him some goodies. In fact, I probably should give him a couple of these things. I bet he'll enjoy that. I bet he'll get a kick out of a fake kazoo and a desiccated tentacle. That sounds like a thrilling time for the king of pigs. Might want to take down some of his obelisks as well so I can get some goodies that way. Don't really know what I'm going to be using those things for, of course, but... Sure, we'll figure it out at some point. All right, my sanity is still kind of being depleted, but that's okay. Let's see if he takes some of this stuff. Here you go, bud. He loves it! Oh my god, he's so happy! That was fantastic! All right, what about this? Desiccated tentacle, how do you feel? You love it as well! Wonderful! Oh, we're making best friends with the pig king. That makes me happy, all righty. Uh, how about this, a red gem? You want that? No, you don't want that. All right, I didn't think you did. That's okay, buddy. Uh, do you mind if I hammer down some of these obelisks? I don't suspect that you'll have a problem with that, but then again, you probably could just eat me if you do, so, uh, hopefully that is not the case. Let's take out my hammer, put that in my equipment slot, and, uh, put the walking cane away. And we're gonna go like this. Uh, just kidding, I can't take this down, apparently. Alright, never mind. Huh. Alright, well, that's good to know. Now, what do I want to do here? This is a terrifying spider domain. I don't think I'm ever gonna be dealing with that. Uh, let's see. I did want to dig up some more grave sites, and I know now that I can give quite a few of those things to the Pig King in exchange for some more, uh, some more goodies. I could chop down another normal tree and get some more living logs. It's good to know that that's there, actually, so I can come back to it in case I really want to. I'm gonna go ahead and head over this way. There is a spelunking hole down here in case I really want to go that way as well. Oh, man! What to do, what to do, what to do! There's some more flowers, there's a wormhole that I think I've already utilized. I'm gonna go ahead and just eat these. They were just really for sanity to pick them up. Uh, I think I've already gone that way. I'm gonna go ahead and head up this way. I'm gonna see what's going on through the northern side of the Boulder Territory. I'm gonna go ahead and follow the, uh, paved road as well to make it a bit easier to access. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for apart from, uh, hopefully finding some blue gems. I don't know how to make those, actually. Maybe I should try to figure out the most effective way to gather blue gems. As far as I'm aware at the moment, the only real way to gather some of those resources is simply to uh, hope that you find them inside of a inside of a grave, which is obviously not the best way to rely upon finding an item. But, I don't know, maybe if I wander further this way, you will be able to find some kind of magical construction site and, uh, you know, get some things going. Might even build campsite number two up here somewhere. It will depend on uh, what we end up finding. Let's keep looking. More flowers is good. Carrots are good for eating. Pick that up and uh, probably just eat them as well. Just eat everything we find because that's what a bear would do anyway. Oh man, what else, what else, what else? Let's see, I still have my life-giving amulet. So that's, a, uh, that's a good reassurance thing. There's another freaking filthy headstone we can dig up. Uh, let's go ahead and just eat that again as well. Okay, here we go. Another fake kazoo. That's fine. We can go take that to the Big King, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just eat all these berries I've got in my inventory because I'd like to clear up some space. 
Bam, bam, bam. There we are. What else are we finding whereabouts here? Hmm. I am exploring a very, very unknown realm. But it is all kind of boring still. I'm tempted to make another campsite. I'm tempted to at least put down a, uh, a stone fire pit. Just to give myself the opportunity to head back to somewhere relatively sp safe and uh, make some more headway into this uncharted landscape. Seems to be a decent idea, but I, I don't know really what I'm looking for up here. I think I'm, more than anything, I think I'm just trying to find the boundaries of this space. I'm trying to determine how far we can go before we run into some kind of unpassable domain. I'm also going to try to keep dipping. Oh my god, a blue gem. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank god. Nice. Alright, I don't think I need to keep my thermal stone on me anymore. I'm going to go ahead and have a... Uh, no, I don't need to eat a fistful of jam just yet. Let's see what I can put away. Uh, I can put away the fake kazoo. That's just going to produce more gold. And I'm pretty close to the pig king, actually. So maybe I should go for that. I do have the blue gem, though. So I believe I can go back to the campsite and make up the purple one. We should probably get that going. I'd also like to sleep through this night. And I really need to go find the pig king before night falls again. Uh, let's see. Man, if only I had a teleporter, that would be super handy right now. That would be wonderful. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make a campsite here, so let's see what I need to do. I'm, I'm gonna put this fake kazoo down. I'm gonna put the, uh, the fire somewhere I know doesn't, uh, is not populated with very many spiders, so I just wanna make sure I'm wandering around here enough to know that for a fact. I think this will be okay. Let's go ahead and put this down right there. I'm gonna see if I've got the resources. I don't. Oh god, I don't actually have any logs. Alright, so, uh, looks like that, uh, whole chopping down trees thing is gonna have to happen but I also don't really have inventory space to do that either let's put this uh, let's put this shovel down I'm gonna equip my axe try to juggle that with the torch all right chop down the tree there we go I got it okay got some logs I can put down the other axe just realized I have two of them that's not really helping me out okay should be able to make this now good stuff okay fire pit goes down Wonderful! Okay, good stuff for me! I'm happy! Put this other log inside of the fire just to be safe. I uh, can put some pine cones in there as well, of course. Bam, bam. Good, good, good! Okay, now, I think I just need to wait out this evening. These nights are actually becoming a lot shorter. This is awesome. I'm excited about that. Pick up the shovel and, uh, you know, I think you probably got some space. Yeah, oh, there we go. Yeah, I can just put some stuff in Chester! That'd be the genius thing to do. You have plenty of space. By that I mean two slots of space. Close to plenty. <laughs> Almost plenty. Yes. Alright. That'll do it for this episode of Don't Starve Guys. Thanks for watching. We've got a lot of cool stuff in store, man. I'm gonna go give the Pig King another fake kazoo or something like that. Get a bunch more gold. We're gonna go back and make a purple gem or something like that. Make some cool things happen. Here in Don't Starve, thanks so much for watching. My name's Bear. I'll see you next time.